I have just come across the most confusing, baffling underfloor heating system with rads upstairs set up that I've ever done. Three hours in, I'm still trying to work out what valve does what, what turns what off. Don't know where to begin with it, in all honesty. So let me run through exactly what we've got. We got called out to replace this underfloor heating manifold. Straightforward enough job. What we've got inside here is heat miser touch screens just to do the downstairs underfloor heating. Upstairs is radiators downstairs is underfloor heating. So in principle, we can take this manifold out, put a new one in, change the, change the stats inside there, reconnect them to the system and all should be well. That's what I've priced up to do. Bought all the stuff from Snug Underfloor Heating, got it all here. So I've come out today to begin doing what we needed to do. I thought I'd just run the system up and check what's going on. First problem I noticed, the hot water two port valve has got no control over it. There's no time clock to turn the heating on and off. So I thought maybe upstairs it's working on the cylinder stat. So I run the heat off the cylinder, nothing. It's not kicked in, so you've got no hot water at the minute. The woman said it just randomly gives them hot water. Two port zone for the heating. This is your flow returns for the heating. They come across here to here. So in principle, I was gonna put a two port zone valve on the underfloor heating side and a two port zone valve on the upstairs radiator so they can be completely isolated from the underfloor heating. If you want this on separately to that, your zone valves work perfect. I thought, yeah, fine, we can do that. Now, this is the weird bit, the strange bit. Let me take you up and show you just what's going on with the rads. We'll use this room for an example. We've got a rad here, thermostatic valve on there. You'd think it's just on the heating loop, the heating side of the system. We've got a touch panel here, an underfloor heating style touch panel here. If we turn this up, this rad gets warm. So obviously there's an actuator under the floor here feeding that rad. Same again with this one. We turn this up, this rad will come on. Gets better. No control over this towel rod, just comes on whenever the underfloor heating or one of these rads is on up here. This one, there's a touchpad here that does nothing. This rad is teed into this towel rail. Whenever the heating comes on, there's no control over this. This comes on, so this comes on, whether it be the underfloor heating downstairs or one of these rads up here. And then finally, this rad here, they've all got TRVs on, this rad here, turn this stat up, and this rad will come on. So that tells me it's actuators or valves under the floor feeding each radiator. I've never, I personally have never seen that ever. And then up there, I've got pressurized hot water cylinder with no control over the turning the hot water on and off. That just sort of comes on randomly. My, my initial idea of just replacing this, replacing the control box. Obviously these are the, the cables feeding into here for your actuators, that's not too much of a problem. What I was gonna do was put your two port zone valve there, two port zone va valve there. That's gonna do upstairs, that's gonna do your underfloor heating. Straightforward. But now we've got those valves upstairs. <sighs> I just don't know what to do for the best. 